Okay, welcome back with Professor C this afternoon. Um, working in linear systems in two variables, and we're going to talk about a couple of special cases. Let's um, recall what we're doing here when we're finding a solution to um, linear equations in two variables. Essentially, what we're saying and assuming is that we have two lines somehow that we're dealing with and by doing either elimination or substitution we are finding the value here x comma y that is the intersection of the two of them from a graphical picture that's what we're doing so we're looking for this x y that satisfies both equation one and equation two well that's fine if we do have an intersection that looks like that we will be able to find the values but we have a couple of possibilities that are going to be problematic namely what happens if the first line is parallel to the second line sometimes we really want that for example railroad tracks tires following in a vehicle we want this property of parallelism to keep so we, we want to be able to deal with that. So if we have two lines that are parallel like that, in most cases, that means that we're going to have trouble finding anything that's going to be common between them. I'm not going to have a single point that's going to be uh, in their intersection, especially if they're two parallel lines that are apart. That means really that when I try to do this, I'm going to have no solution. And that's going to fall out as you're doing the solving. You're going to get something really odd, like something like 0 is equal to minus 1, a contradiction or an absurdity. And that is going to tell you, well, your assumption that there was a solution was wrong. So that's why you get this no solution or a contradiction. Well, there's a another case that's possible and that's pretty interesting as well and it's also when the lines are parallel but it's when the first line is parallel to a second line that's actually right on top of it so the two lines are kind of right on top of each other we call this collinear sorry you can't see that collinear and that there that's a little better collinear and collinear means that they actually are parallel but they also share when they share many things they're going to share all of these points so all of these points along the collinearity are common to both lines so when you try to solve this you're going to get something really odd. You're going to get something like 1 is equal to 1. Something that's always true. Okay. And that means that the solution to this is actually the equation of the line either way itself. There is an infinite number of solutions there. So sometimes we say this is simply an infinite number of solutions where this one has no solution and sometimes we even write you know the empty set for the solution so these are the two special cases both parallel but one parallel but no solution one parallel with many infinite solutions they come out when you try to solve the equations something that's always true in the equations is going to be the collinear something where the equations don't make sense as a solution um, you're going to get no solution or something like 0 is equal to minus 1 or even 1.